The father of a missing Sydney toddler has denied claims he was a well-known drug dealer. An inquest is investigating the disappearance of Rama Aldanui from her home in 2005. Her father Hussein denies having any enemies and says he doesn't know what happened to his daughter. Carl Her reports. Hossein Aldanui broke down in the witness box after a recording of his triple zero call was played in court. We wake up just now, we can't find my daughter, she's around two years old. Two years old? Yeah. And she's gone missing from your home? Yeah. He said the last time he saw his daughter, Rama, was when he put her to bed at their Lunia home more than six years ago. Did you get up and check on her in the night, did you? No, I, I put her in the bed like 2 o'clock in the morning. Like she was asleep uh, next to me and uh, was watch TV. I put her with her sister. Okay, have you looked all through the house for her? I, I did, yeah. Yeah, okay, she's not hiding anywhere or anything like that? No. The only clue about what might have happened to the child was a cut in the fly screen of an open window over the bed where she was sleeping. Counsel assisting the coroner put it to Mr Aldenui that he didn't sound distressed on the triple zero call. He said at the time he thought his daughter would be found. Hossan Aldenui said he had used illegal drugs in the past but stopped years before Rama's disappearance. And he denied he and his wife were arguing that night because the child had swallowed an ecstasy tablet. There have been suggestions the missing girl was taken by someone to live in Lebanon, but there's been no firm evidence to back the theory. The inquest continues. Carl Herr, ABC News.